During a global pandemic, protecting the most vulnerable people in the society becomes an even greater and more urgent challenge. Since Zambia recorded its first COVID-19 cases, government has put in place some measures to curb the spread of the disease. One of the measures put in place was the closure of bars and nightclubs, which is the source of income to some of the people. Others obeyed the order while others were defiling the order, and this led to some of the people being apprehended and alcohol were being confiscated. COVID-19 is threatening the already fragile markets, food security and healthcare systems that people rely on. And the social economic impact of the lockdown is very unfortunate that not enough advance notice was given to everybody, including the most vulnerable people who work in the informal sector, which represents an enormous part of the economy in Zambia. It is for this reason Kabulonga Ward's esteemed councillor Patrick Mwansa has donated 50 bags of million money to help support the elderly and the most affected people in the area. Not, not disabled. Our key responsibility is to look after everybody. And this is what we are doing. So for us, I mean, we, we have database of our disabled people uh, in our area. They have not been left behind. If you heard me earlier during uh, my address, I did mention that uh, we have continued to source for donations, you know, of these various items. And uh, I can uh, uh, um, safely say that we have received about a thousand hand sanitizers. And during the event, the councillor also took time to sensitize the people the importance of keeping safe. Hi. And in uh, various communities, ni mwa wa kambodi, ni mwa mwa wa kutwe ba yuo apatu rechita suspect, apari mbitu rechita suspect, so that wangu wangu tuaita the health authority to come through and come and check. Ubugu duele wishire mkuwe, the mwa kuseke shayo, abantu barefu, barefu ubu bi sun in thousands. Elonga tu alore shoko kwa barefu, America, eh, Italy. Some of the beneficiaries has this to say. The spread of COVID-19 comes with a tragic outlook for vulnerable communities around the globe. However, it is important that all stakeholders work together to fight COVID-19 without leaving anyone behind. Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.